we are again. Um, just doing a kind of an update to the review series I got going. This is my 2021 Ram uh, Power Wagon that I custom ordered uh, from the dealer. And it's at 15,000 miles right now. And i uh, just kind of talk about some of the things I've done to it, which isn't a lot. Um, some things I don't like, again, which isn't a lot. But uh, just some little idiosyncrasies and little bits here and there for any of these guys looking to uh, purchase this truck, and one of these trucks. First off, absolutely <laughs> love the truck. Um, it does everything I needed to do. I was looking for basically a full-size Overland rig that was set up from the factory with everything that I would need, and that's this. Uh, Again, 2500, about a two inch lift over the standard 2500. It's got a softer suspension, so I don't have the capacity, load capacity either in the bed or towing that a 2500 does, and that's mainly due to the soft suspension, which is fine. I don't own anything that heavy, so it's not a huge deal for me. Uh, it comes with electronic front and rear lockers. A lot of this is a review for most people, but uh, electronic front and rear lockers, disconnect sway bar, and the um, factory installed winch which I've gotten some use out of here recently uh, it's got 33.9 inch tires uh, the Dura tracks which work great up here in northern New England so I'm very happy with that I had the tube steps installed as part of the package uh, they're not real running boards but I need something well my wife needed something to be able to get into the truck because it's it's got a pretty tall stance for her but uh, yeah we'll talk a little bit about some of the stuff I've done and uh, stuff I like and don't like about the truck and uh, let's start the walk around. So now that I've had it long enough, I've done a couple oil changes on it already. I don't know if you can see it up way up in there, but there's the oil filter. It's um, it's just really hard to access. Um, I think that's mainly because once they installed the winch, it took up a lot of that space. So if you're going to do that, having the, uh, the tool that the wrench that grabs on the end of the cap with an extension allows you to get to it relatively easy and other than that it's a real simple oil change you don't even need much i just need a piece of cardboard to lay down on to get underneath it so i'm real happy with that up front not much to be concerned about but what i've noticed is when i've been using the winch i don't know if you guys can see it but when i attach the winch cable or the winch controller here and i run it up you can see where it drags on the lens and the paint and kind of scuffs it up because I bring it all the way up here, put it underneath the windshield wiper, and bring it into the driver's window. So I just got to figure something out with that. Um, I'm probably just going to get some rare earth magnets and put them in a piece of fabric that I'll just stick and cover this whole thing up when I'm winching so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, I did manage to do some damage to the ground effects uh, when I was backing, backing up over a rock front end dipped and got caught on it um, it's just taped up right now I'm probably gonna fix it at some point or more likely I'll just take the whole thing off and uh, let me think here I got the ARE MX cap that has the high-rise in the back installed a while ago which I absolutely love um, my bed drawer system has been working pretty well. I do want to replace the friction sliders I have on this with actual um, metal lockout sliders. Uh, and I'll do the same thing on this side. This is where I store all my kitchen stuff. It pretty much lives there permanently now because I've been we've been using it so much. Uh, and again, I'm super happy with this truck. Uh, haven't done a lot to it but I uh, haven't needed to either. Uh, one of the things I'm gonna look at doing is up in the roof up there for the rails that hold the roof rack on, there's bolts. I wanna pull those out and replace them with slightly longer so I can put a kind of elastic mesh up there. Because what I've noticed on some camping trips and whatnot is I have wet stuff. I just wanna store it loose up someplace out of the way so it can dry. So I figure if I make like a little net out of a bungee cord up attached to that, I'll be able to tuck out like my tent fly and all that stuff when it's wet just so it can dry out between stops. Still haven't done much with the uh, back seat, 
but I do plan to remove it to gain all this extra space back here, which is substantial. It's probably over just about a foot. Um, what I want to do, I was looking at the Goose Gear uh, rear seat delete, uh, one that's pretty expensive for everything to do both sides. I think it was upwards of a, upwards of a grand, and I just don't want to pay that. Uh, two, I want to actually make something a little higher so the platform will be about that high, I'm thinking, because I want to be able to slide my rifle case in there and then still have the platform for the dogs and all that stuff. Uh, I fit three large dogs in here, no problem. Uh, they're pretty happy about it, as far as I can tell. They just happen to be with us. But... So not much to say on the back seats. So in the driver's seat up front, um, haven't done much other than I installed this uh, bullet point or bullet mount uh, mounting system. So it's a plate that goes right in here with these two arms. And uh, it's been working awesome. I got the center one there, as you can kind of see, set up for the GoPro. And it's nice because you can turn it around as you need to. I'm going to do something better with this. I don't really like this big plug. It was just one I had kicking around so I can keep my GoPro charged. My wife has a charging cable for hers. And I got the mount for my phone that I got plugged in all the time as well. Uh, I'm super excited with the Android. Um, Android Auto now allows uh, Gaia Maps to play on the screen. So if you use Gaia Maps, that's awesome because you can get that right on your um screen overall i got a little over fifteen thousand miles on this i've done a couple oil changes uh air filter standard maintenance stuff i've had no real issues with the truck um one of the things i've been talking about with the auto start is it definitely seems to be range based and it's very sensitive so i think that just might be where i was standing when i was trying to get it to unlock it's a very sensitive uh, auto start or unlock when you get close to the truck. Uh, fuel mileage, I average around 13 to 15 around town. Uh, highway, 17, almost 18 is the best I've gotten. But I didn't buy this truck for fuel economy. That is definitely not what a 6.2 Hemi in a truck with bigger than normal tires is meant for. So I wasn't very concerned about that, but everyone always asks, you know, what's the fuel economy? And honestly, I'd like it if it was better at three-something a gallon here in Vermont. But, you know, it's what it is. Uh, we've done a dozen-plus road trips. I've traveled a bunch in this truck, and I'm still absolutely in love with it. It's comfortable, quiet for, with the tires on it. Uh, rides amazing on the highway. and has more power than I know what to do with. And that's part of the problem. I'm getting such bad gas mileage some days is... Sometimes you want to use all eight cylinders. That's what I paid for. So I might as well uh, use them all. But it does have its backs, downsides like that. Um, overall, I don't have a lot of complaints with this truck. It was what I researched, what I wanted, and I purchased. Um, I think it's a great truck if you're looking to get into the backcountry and kind of live out of it. It's not a desert racer. It's basically a heavy duty work slash exploration truck and that's what i wanted something i can drive out in the woods and use as a base camp for trout fishing deer hunting uh, rock climbing mountain biking whatever the sport i'm doing is um and it's been awesome for that and uh yeah again guys i absolutely love my power wagon i think everyone should get one if they if it's the truck they want hell i almost had my wife sold on getting another one to replace her or WRX, but she thought it might have been a little excessive to have two of them. I disagreed, but hey, she loves her sports cars. And she wasn't too interested in the TRX, so that would have been super cool. But again, guys, hopefully I find these things interesting. Check out all the other videos I have. I've been wheeling this thing a bunch, um, pushing it more and more, getting closer uh, to finding that edge. Uh, but check out those other videos I got. Like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll keep the content coming. Thanks for watching.